one of Revit's strengths, and you might even argue that one of Revit's greatest strengths as a program is its ability to control views within the program. And uh, within those views, controlling the visibility of certain objects one way in one view, and then in another view, you can show it another way. In this case, I've got two pipes, uh, one that's four inch, one that's two and a half. And what if I want the line weight or the color or a fill pattern um, to, be, to be shown one way on one pipe and another way on another pipe? We do that through filtering. So uh, first things first, make sure thin line is turned off. So if we turn it on, you can see here it's super thin. Turn back on, it's much thicker. I'm going to go into visibility graphics. Uh, you can do it through view and then this button here, but I'm just going to type in VG. I'm going to go to the filters tab, and I don't have anything for fire protection loaded yet. If I go to add, I can see there's not one created, so I'm going to go to edit new. I'm going to create a new one. We're going to call this fire protection wet branch line. And perhaps for the first one, I'm going to have pipes only. Now, the brand, since I use AutoSpring RVT, there's a parameter that AutoSpring RVT associates with pipe called pipe type. And that's where we classify that a pipe is cross main or branch line, arm over, drop, whatever the case may be. So this filter is going to apply only to pipes because that same parameter is not on fittings. We wouldn't designate a fitting as a cross main or a branch line. And I'm going to say that this filter applies if pipe type equals branch line. I'm going to create another one for main. I'm just going to duplicate this one because they are going to be very similar. We'll just say amen. Except now, when it's equal to a cross main. Now I can go in here and add those two. And here under projection surface, we can you know, set up a line that we want associated with, uh, or the line weight, I'm sorry, with that filter, a pattern, and even a transparency. But under lines, we could go in and say that, you know, if we want a certain, you know, uh, line pattern, uh, a color, but in this case, all I want is a line weight. So for branch line, I'm going to go with three. So if I, when I hit apply, watch what happens to the two and a half inch. Got a little thinner, but the fitting did not. Remember, this is pipes only. I'm going to make this notably larger. Hit apply. So here we've got, and I may have missed this one. I sure did. So there we go. So now this is set to a cross main as well. So it's much heavier, but the fitting stayed the same because fitting isn't a cross main. What if we wanted to do this based on size? I'll go ahead and delete these. Oops, new. And I'm going to create one called Fire Protection Wet 4. And I want this to apply to pipe fittings as well as pipes. Now, first rule only if it's part of fire protection wet. Do I want this to even bother? But then I want it to only be for four inch pipe and fittings. Now I'm going to do the sizes of pipe as a set and this and I'll show you why. Because if I were to say okay I want the size such that it equals four that's great. However even if you have a straight fitting, like an elbow that's going from four inch to four inch, Revit doesn't see it that way. 
It doesn't see it as just a 4 inch. It sees it as a 4 inch by 4 inch. So we'll need to add a rule. So, so long as it equals 4 or 4 by 4, because I've only got the elbow, I don't have any T's, at which point then you would have to add yet another one for 4 by 4 by 4. I don't want this to, yeah, I want to have the or in here so that if it sees only one, it still continues to work. Now I'm going to go and duplicate this. Rename it. I'll call this 2.5. Two and a half, two and a half by two and a half. Then we're going to add these into it. And then we can do exactly the same thing. Uh, you know, perhaps I want uh, three on my four inch, and then perhaps uh, a two on the two and a half inch, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, and as I mentioned before, you can go in and you know even color code these so that you've got red for that. And uh, maybe you want to leave black for the two and a half inch, but uh, you could even go so far as to apply a line pattern. So this is how you can use filters to control how your pipes and fittings and so on look in your view.